Hello, GSE peeps. Uh, Kitty, who's looking over my shoulder today, actually. But there we go. We are um, back in oxygen not included. And I'm going to start again. That last map, uh, the one with all the gas, uh, just needs to really get on top of things. There are a couple of things I realised. For instance, um, let's... Uh, why are we doing that? Let's look for some minus threes. Oh, missed one there. There we go. Minus three, ugly cryer, construction, medicine, narcoleptic, amphibious. Yes, we'll keep him. Go for it. Oh, there was a minus three. Oh, there's another minus three. Stop tapping. Uh, minus five. Excellent. Now sleeper. No, thank you. Go for. I'm trying to get a minus three because food early on. Oh, this one's a good one. Irritable bound and Yet yeah, good. Um, food early on is is a bigger problem. And if they're not going to eat the low quality food, I think they get too stressed out too easily. But uh, so we'll start off with minus five. Tinkering flatulence. I don't think so. Find the next minus three. On to low decor expectation. There we go, minus 20. The scaredy cat naturally robust. Excellent. And we'll go random. Space camp. No, I don't like space camp. Ah. Unstoppable planet. That'll be me. You watch me stop it. Uh, right. Back into the. Yes, uh, bristle blossoms. Uh, the only reason we weren't getting any s seeds from them is because you, you've got to grow them at the highest level. You can't just have a standard yield. You need a, a posh yield, so posh farming. So that's why we weren't getting bristle blossoms on those. Uh, what I've got, I've got a plan. What to do with heavy, heavy what wire? What what? Um, let's get some let's get some building going anyway. Or some digging going. Uh, a bit over there. Oh, it's going to need some floors already. But we can come over here and that level there. We'll put a floor in there in a minute. As long as there's nothing for them to fall over. Just keep an eye on this sand here because that's going to fall down. And you haven't, guys haven't seen it. I've um, deleted the file now as well. But I just I did start again and I had this weird glitch where all of a sudden two, two tubes. It was just literally starting, you know, five minutes into the game. I'll speed the game up. And two dupes had climbed over something they were just uh, uh, deleted, and they ended up being stuck up in the up in the ceiling here. Just just teleported themselves up into the nether regions, and, and I couldn't get them back out again. So um, yeah, so we've started again. So I'm going to pretend that didn't happen. Anyway, looking around, uh, we have some water. That's all down this area. Good, good. This looks like it could be. Yeah, it looks there's some snow and ice. There's an ice biome down there. That'll be nice. A bit of coal over here. That'll be nice a bit later on. Looking for more snow and ice over there. Subsidian granite, igneous rock, iron ore. Looking for no sign of any swamp biome at the moment. Ooh, lots of coal over here. Excellent. And obviously we're on the lookout for, here we go, a bit of a swamp biome down here. So we're on the lookout for uh, a toilet for a start. Now let's put the toilet, gonna put the toilet over here actually, next to the cold biome. Yeah. If I come over there and make sure I'll put some insulation in maybe. Uh, what was I talking about? Yes, so... Um, Gas geezers. Looking out for gas geezers because once I know how to tackle them, and I've sort of got this idea, which I think I talked about in the last episode, building a water lock so we don't flood our base with gas. We can't get rid of them. There we go. Build a toilet. That's fine. And now we want to perhaps have a quick look up, see what's up here. So we'll come over here a little bit, build up past that, just build a ladder up there. And we'll continue that same ladder down here as well. How are we off for algae? Or algae? Algae, algae. Actually, we're a bit short on algae. There's a bit here. But we're not actually inundated with algae. So uh, oxygen early on could be a bit of a problem. I need... Actually, we're not exactly inundated with water as well. Um, I'm going to flood all this water down to here, perhaps bring this hatch up if I can. So let's build another ladder down to this level here. That's my two main thoroughfares then. Uh, 
going to bring the water down that hatch. I want to bring that hatch up and bring them up there. Perhaps, perhaps not. Okay, so first of all, let's let's dig out there and there. We'll uh, bring this ladder up up a level as well. No, come on, go up a level. Get you building up there a minute, and uh, then I want to bring out some floors not too far out there. Uh, put a couple of tiles in there, and finish off that, 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 and that. And I'm going to press pause on the video there while I just, just basically dig out a little bit of a little bit of groundwork here ready for beds and things. Back and uh, as you heard in the background probably just a couple of seconds for you guys but a little while for me. That's, uh, that's me suitably fed. I'll dig out some of this sand here. Uh, yes, so how are things going here? Will we can see we have a swamp area at the top. Excellent. I have some stuff over here. All oh, this coal, that'll be really good. Oh, my fourth uh, duplicate. We'll come back to that. And round here, nice big... In fact, that's like a third of the base is surrounded by a, a uh, an ice or snow cold biome over there. Lots of wolframite close by. Excellent. And then down here, I was getting a little bit worried about the lack of algae close by. But then we've uncovered all this little lot here, so there's lots and lots of algae there. And there's a little cold biome just down there as well, so it's all looking good. I've dug up a gonna dig up through there, let the uh, hatchling, when he comes out, let him dig up through, you know, jump up through there. And with a bit of luck, uh, I'll be able to block this little lot off, and then we'll drop this water down, and that can sit down here for the minute. Then, uh, no signs of any geezers at the moment. Which I was rather hoping there'd be one quite close by, but... Or is that one up there? No, that's a vacuum. And... So, that's it. Right, let's have a quick look in here, then. Go choose duplicant. Uh, well, we've got bottom of the stomach, not really. Biohazard, definitely not. Can't dig it. Pointless person there. And they're all minus two food here, so uh, this one here is anemic and is a mouth breather. And this one here is an interior decorator. Be useful. I don't think I've got anybody who is decorating. No, we're going to take everybody off for art for the minute. In fact, why they all come back up? Is that a bug with the system? It doesn't save it. Or well, perhaps I didn't. Perhaps I didn't do this. Um, don't want anybody researching apart from learning one, learning one, learning one. So just him take that out, take the art out, and leave everybody else it is. Right, so actually this yokel here, with his nice creative, uh, is binge eater, so I really, yeah, I'm not too sure about this binge eating thing. I don't know how much of a problem it's going to be, but there's only one way to find out, so in you come. And of course now we have the fourth one. I think it's time to start thinking about putting beds in for people. So... Let's put four beds up here, and we'll dig out this little area here. Thank you, a little bit of lag, stops me digging out that last square. And I think because they are going to get a little bit stressed out, especially with all this rubbish on the floor, I need to start putting some, some stuff down. So let's make uh, down here the base storage compactor. Let's just put a load of storage in there for the minute get them making that. Also need to dig that out. Not too sure why that was not being dug out. And of course I need to dig out that. And there's one little bit of dirt up there. So that's all looking good at the moment. We've just about used up all the ox to oxylite. There's a little bit down here producing some, but oxygen is going to be a bit of a problem fairly soon, so I think we need to get on and do research, power, etc. So, 
first of all, uh, let's put... Do I want that there? I don't know if I want that there, actually. Cancel that. Let's build the manual generator over here. A reason you'll see in a minute, if you haven't guessed it already. Oh, don't want that either. Uh, cancel that through there. Build wire across there. Put a little tiny battery in there. And get my research station out. And put... Let's separate it with a little bit of bit more electric cable and then obviously I'm going to need some flooring for all this to sit on so tile shovel that all on there that will take it all up to the edge so as soon as we get our research going and oh, that's on here right th if those of you who haven't seen this I can't remember that I showed you this in the last one but I want all of this but I don't want polluted dirt Okay, so we copy that, and we'll do that, come down here to copy settings, and now I can copy the settings to each of those. Now apparently that works in plants, uh, it works for anything... Uh, is it anything buildable? Can't remember. No, anything you've got settings for. So, alright, search. It's always going to be farming. I think I talked through all those on the last start we did, so that's not a problem. And how are we getting on down here? I do want to... Ah, oh, hang on. Stopped my ladder. Let's put my ladder back in. And that should... So at the moment we're dumping carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is not a problem. I think it's all settling down in this middle section here at the moment. Might need to break through to get some of this oxygen out. But there's not a lot there. 300 grams. So... Um, and, uh, yeah, so it's my daughters yelling in the background. And they're all going to go to sleep again now. So, having a look around here. Uh, perhaps we need another level. Build this level up. Go for... Actually, you want to... Be careful we don't dig out the oxalite. Dig out some of this algae as well. And while we're building stuff as well, let's come into here, bring an oxygen deox algae deoxidizer and put it in there. And we're just going to use normal cable and wind it up through there. So yeah, if I click on this bristle blossom here, it doesn't actually tell me anything about... Right, forget about that, it's because it's a standard yield. Then we'll come from this standard yield when we start to plant it. So I'll figure out... Actually, it doesn't tell me anything about... Yeah, it doesn't tell me anything about planting it either, so let's dig out that as well. Actually, one, two, three, four, don't want that. So we'll probably won't reach that, so we'll cancel that for the minute as well. Okay, so, start with this. Making some oxygen, excellent. That will make it a little bit, so I've got this oxygen and oxylite up here. The rest of it is looking a little bit, a bit more down here. Oh. Funny enough, yeah, that is, as you say, low concentration down there. Actually, there's little pockets of high concentration there, but we'll uncover those. Oh, it's a bit down there as well. Oh, that's polluted. And there's quite a bit of polluted there, 6.8 kilos. That will soon flood the base if I uh, open that out too soon. Now, I want to continue this ladder just as a bit of an exploration. I want to see if there's anything in this. What I'm looking for is another natural gas. Uh, at some point we'll probably want a, a hydrogen thing in here. And I'm tempted, instead of making the whole ceiling a hydrogen capture, is just keep the oxygen for the hydrogen oxygen deoxidizers just on this level here and just bibble the bibble? Yeah, that's a new word. Bibble the oxygen, uh, the hydrogen up this side and then maybe the oxygen will flow elsewhere. I love watching it. See how it flows. See how it's flowing down this ladder? That's brilliant, that is. Anyway, we're going to dig that and that out. And then dig uh, across here. So things are looking... Oh, a bit of coal there. Uh, Things are looking better. Why didn't it dig out that? There's my hatchling there. No. Go dig. Number nine. 
under there. Can you dig that out for me? And having dug that out... What I want to do is, if the hatchling gets up here, put somebody down here pretty smartish to build a... We'll see where he finishes out. If he finishes up here, I'll come in and box this lot off. So I think... Was there already a hatchling here? I can't remember. I want to take them all off combat as well, so they don't accidentally beat up a hatchling. And just tidy up some of this sand. Lots of sand at the moment. So, plan for this base then. Oh, to be honest, I've no idea. It's a little bit of hydrogen here. This would be good. If I make this, if I can flood the hydrogen up here, so when I make my little hydrogen reception pod up here, I can always have two pods. I'll just pump pump stuff from one to the side to the other, maybe. Or maybe even have two two pumps. We'll see how things go. Uh, right, food. How's food looking? Not particularly good. So I do need to get some, some micro musher. Perhaps get the micro musher going well. Uh, yeah, I haven't done the research yet. They are starting to fill this. That's good. Perhaps I'll just let them tidy up a little and do some fill. In fact, we'll give a sweet order for through here. Excellent. And that little tile there is looking uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Um, untidy, that's the word. You're unplugging that. That means as soon as I've got farming, I'm going to need to. Right, let's let's build let's build another toilet. Make that quite a necessity there. How are you doing? Did notice actually when you click this, it's not making research units. You don't have to ask it to make research units anymore. It just automatically carries on. I thought that was a bit of a pointless thing. Oh, crikey. Farming research, 4 out of 20. That's what happens when you don't have anybody any good at research doing the thing. So, well, one, one, two. So, there's only two. Got a bit of polluted oxygen happening here, then, where we've got a little bit of uh, polluted dirt. Polluted dirt. Let's, let's just call it poo. Let's have a look to see if we've got any duplicates. Only going to take a duplicate if he's minus three. He's not. Um, plus seven creativity. What was my artist? It's plus five. I've already got one artist, so we're, we're going to leave it at that. Don't really want. Don't really want. Yeah, especially with with fifteen decor expectation. And uh, more deck of expectation here, yeah, but Lion Sleeper, no, no. So this would be the one I took, but to be honest, apart from being an artist, it hasn't got much use for anything else. So we'll hang on, reject all, reject all. Now, something I did notice is that I can actually disable this building, which means it now doesn't produce new duplicates. So, uh, see? Uh, but I want to produce duplicates. You never know when I want the next one anyway. While we're here, actually, what we'll do is... Oh, I haven't got decor. Ooh, let's plant... Let's plant a flower now. Let's then. Let's go for one there and one there. See what we've got when uh, they plant. What's that there? Oh, electrical wire. Why do I plant some electrical wire down there? It's a silly place for a bit of electrical wire. Never mind. So, I think what we'll do is we'll let them tidy up uh, and obviously go to sleep. Have a quick look at this hatchling down here, see if he goes up to where he wants to go to. Or is he just going to bimble around at the bottom of the hole there? Yeah, eating lots of resources. Fine, go on. Come up, climb. Climb. No. So you'll climb this two one here, but he won't... Go on. Perhaps once he's eaten all that resources. Tell you what, if I sweep 
all that. Perhaps he'll, um, yeah. Perhaps he'll move on up. Right, so I need to start thinking about where I'm going to put my food storage. Well, to be honest, good sport for choice here. I'm just going to put, put a couple of levels in there. But, um, yeah, food storage, I think just, just sort of in the middle here, because then I put the tables and chairs here. Nest tables. Why for you is a sweep of a high... Uh, sweep higher priority than producing power. Come on guys, I need a compost bin. I think I might, the only, if I get another scientist, I might just get a scientist going. I've only got one, yeah, one researching. Right, so that's the last of those resources out there. Well, you're just gonna, what are you gonna do next? Are you gonna build that next? Excellent, right. So in here I've got a couple of briar seeds, or I can put a weaswort seed in. Oh, excellent. Excellent, so I can now put weaswort seeds in these things. Uh, I'm gonna put, just put a briar seed in there and a briar seed in there, just to, let's say, raise the decor a little in this area. In fact, that what else will raise the decor in this area is actually if I make if I make the floor a, a proper floor. Quick look at gas levels. Yeah, sort of ish. Bit of carbon dioxide building up down here, and obviously down here as well. Yeah. Let's get rid of some of these messages. Is that that research complete? It is. Excellent. Right, so we'll start researching. Let's go for... We'll go for power regulation next. And we're going to build this compost heap, which is here. Put that there. Hopefully reduce some of this contaminated oxygen that's starting to build up. And uh, algae terrarium... Do I need one just yet? Not at the moment. I'm not working down here. We'll just use that. We'll leave that for the minute. Then I've got planter boxes. I really do need to start thinking about food and stuff. So um, let's have a quick look at the temperatures. 20, 20, 20, 24, 26. Might be a bit chilly over here. But obviously I'm looking at mealwood fairly quick. So I'm just going to stick a load of, load of uh, things there things. Planter boxes there. We'll see what we can build. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, this is Neilwood. Um, on the last video we talked about, you know, when it came up, it came up with this. You'll see it in a minute when I plant it. There we go. So choose that first one. Gonna go, I've only got nine Neilwood seeds. Okay. We'll plant that. What I can do is now copy the settings from that one instead of going click, 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 click to plant all those. So I can plant more wood seeds in all of these. Same with that one. Copy of settings and the last one. Makes things a lot easier. Right, now when you click on this, or hover over it, it says can't fertilise, can't irrigate. That's because of the pot it's in. Now, I don't think I can see it yet. Uh, yeah, when we get down to these farm tiles, you can see that, you will see that there is an irrigation or a fertilization implant uh, input maybe thing. I haven't quite figured out how we even put fertilizer because um, that tends to come in little green balls. Come over here. I haven't got any growing yet but but uh, there's one hatchling. So he's still, uh, he's still down there and I do really want to One hatchling so far. I don't think anyone killed any off. So it's just tidying up there. Right, uh, awaiting delivery. Why have you not planted that? I don't know why you haven't planted that. But anyway, if we look at mealwood, you can see it. 
you'd have to go to the wiki to check up on the temperatures and things, but here it's telling me that this is giving me a standard yield. Now, so sort of standard pressure, predicted time remaining nine and a half cycles, change per cycle, change by per cycle, naught per cycle, don't know what that means. Uh, predicted harvest rating is standard yield. And I don't know how to up that. How do I get the harvest rating up? Um, plants will gain harvest when kept in ideal conditions. So, I mean, basically this plant is telling me... I mean, what is this plant telling me? Let's try and pull... Not group, can't be... Do, 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 do. Not to find a mealwood seed. Well, I suppose I've just planted most of them to try and find another one. Mealwood. That's algae. Select the mealwood. So again, that wild one's not telling me anything really different to this. What I'd love to know is what is the... Yeah, what is the ideal growing? Growing... Can I select it from up here? No, that's telling me mockwood. Sealed millwood seed. Details. No. So the seed doesn't tell me anything. The plant. Why can't the plant tell me details? Okay, so the temperature is 19 degrees. But it's not telling me what the ideal temperature of it is. That's, mm. well, that's just about it finished there. So uh, don't quite know what I'm going to do next. So have a quick thing, I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. I found out where, yeah, where this is. What you have to do is click on the planter box, city planter. You click on the planter and it tells you what's planted and it tells you what, yeah, the, the, the info on it. It's a little bit back to front. I thought you'd have needed to least sorry I've got some new hay fever in the background uh, right so harvest three cycles life cycles five cycles temperature is between 10 and 30 degrees so at the moment it's at 22 but I don't know quite you know is that good is it bad or what now these are my tiers so at standard with no points I'm just going to get 800 kilogram meal lice with good harvest rating it'll produce a good yield which is 1600 calories meal lice and with this one it will produce mealwood seeds as well but how do i get it to the harvest rating points do i need to actually i'm going to what we're going to do is i need to yeah really need to get onto these where are is it up here fine dining where you got yeah, let's get on to fine dining and do these two tiles oh well, that needs a supercomputer Okay, no, I can't, I'm not going to do that just two yet. We uh, have to come down to do gas piping next. Um, but it could be that we get a better rating. So how many seeds have I got? Two mealwood seeds. I really don't want to deconstruct. We'll stick at three mealwood seeds. We're going to have to... Right. Yeah, my, my thought process is if I use up all my mealwood seed, I can't I can't investigate how to get more seeds. And to do that, I need to up the harvest rating. And the best way of doing that, looking at this, let's just press pause a minute. Looking at this, I need the only way of getting the harvest rating tier up is. A plant will continuously generate harvest rating points when kept within ideal conditions. So I need to keep it between 18 and 22 degrees. So here, it's just a little bit outside of that. 22 degrees. So I need I need to put my plants over here, really, because it's 19, 19 degrees. Oh, crikey, that is... Right, let's deconstruct those. Come on, deconstruct those. Okay, while I'm there, I need to um, 
polluted water, 40 kilograms. Plant. Okay, it needs 40 kilograms per cycle of polluted water. And it needs 2,000 grams, and it needs to be kept at a 750, or when it's kept above 750. So at the moment, I haven't even got enough gas pressure over here. Right, okay, I need another algae blower. That is... The decor's horrible. Uh, hmm. So I can't... I've got a... F well, we'll, we'll dig these up for the minute, and we'll put them over here. And we'll, we'll just grow two, because I've got a feeling... How much the plant will continue with another way it's kept and then to generate up to five points per condition in a day. Plants maximum harvest rating. So will it generate harvest rating if one or two of these are done? Mm, good point. Don't know. Let's plant a couple down here. Just a couple. Go on, off you go. You can start. Dig up all those. Put them down there. Let's see if they are. Because that one there at the moment, if I click on it, it's not producing any. Will it tell me what the harvest rating is? Anyway, let's see if we've got a duplicate. Uh, what am I looking for? I wanted a learning duplicate. I've uh, got one that can't cook. There's a minus three one. He's good. Uh, construction and cooking. He's an architect. Bottom of the stomach, and this one is minus two. Again, lots of good creativity. Not so good as a loud sleep. Oh, I'm gonna have to reject them all again. Which is oh, it's not necessarily a bad thing, you know. Keep the level low. But do need. What did I make last time? I don't think I made battery. Oh, I have got the batteries. Okay, so we could make something with batteries this time. And maybe put the batteries down here. Or maybe further up. Oh, what have we got over here? Could put the batteries over here. There's a bit of absolite there, a bit of this stuff, some of these sleep wheats which are quite good. So we could do that, right? Let's let's build that there is water, I believe. Uh, so we build if I build up to there, build this down to there, dig out that, dig, yeah, no, we'll just deconstruct it when I finish, and then build, uh, no dig, a too high tunnel across there. Uh, what doors have I got? I get a manual airlock at the moment, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to... A little bit of carbon dioxide in there, that won't be a problem. Right, let's move down into here then, and pick batteries. And I'm going to put... three batteries there, and then move down a level and put... Oh, I can't put a battery there. One there, going to have to... Uproot him for a start. Put another battery there. Dig out that, dig out that, and that, and that. Dig out that as well. Put a gap around the back. Where did that water come from? No idea. Uh, right, so once they've dug that out, then I'll be able to wire this lot in. Oh, crikey, come on, guys. Is anybody getting a better power rating? Let's take him off power rating there. And let him do that, and I'll bring you back.
Okay, so I've brought you back uh, building the little batteries down here. So I've just redesigned slightly. And up here I have noticed here's a steam geyser. So at least I do have a supply of water. Albeit, what, what, uh, I mean, it's quite nicely set. This is this is all set at about 50, 50 odd degrees. But it's, it's quite nice the way it's all set here. That's not a problem. I can come in here and put a plant, uh, a, uh, a pump here and bring it down. Or I can set it in a, you know, we could have something, if I'm going to collect hydrogen in this area here, I can bring this down and run it down a, a conduit, similar to what we did to last time. Um, so that would keep some, yeah, we can box all this in, put a conduit up the side, he says, having not gone that way. I know, we can put a conduit in somewhere. And when this overflows, I don't know if this is going to, at the moment this is all a, a vacuum, so I don't know, let's keep an eye on that. Let's see, it's just uh, it's underneath that level there. Uh, be interesting to know if this fills up or not. But, um, yeah, hmm, vacuum, vacuum. So it comes straight from being steam to being water. But as soon as I break that seal, it'll change. And uh, I've got some micro musher going on here. Uh, mainly just to try and make a little bit of food, because we actually have none whatsoever. And I'm looking at my consumables here. Actually, they're all not very happy. The only one happy with food. i sure I had all these were all minus threes, except perhaps the last one. But they're not. They're minus twos, which means they're going to get stressed out. Uh, yeah, 73% up here. I need to build some massage tables quick. So let's, let's, have, let's have two of those for the minute. Along with some uh, wiring, of course. So just bung a couple of... So I uh, should be able to... Yeah, they're putting the wiring together. Excellent. And, uh, just trying to deconstruct this little bit of bit of wire here, but and what else we got going on? Not a lot. I've got to have next time I go to sleep, just watch this hatchling. I'm gonna get him up here, build a block behind him. Not too bothered about where he goes as long as he I did get yeah, I did take him all off of combat, so that's fine. And yeah, uh, still not too worried about algae, but uh, it's food. Here we go. There's a bit of food coming up. Possibly get a few more. Once I can sort the food out, I can get a few more dupes in here, and we can put another wheel in. Might. Uh, Power. Let's put let's put another generator in there anyway. Just check the temperatures. Yeah, none of this is looking all right. So do I bring another dupe in now? Let's see. I'll bring a dupe in if there's a minus three, which there isn't. Uh, crikey, look at this <laughs> decor expectation forty. He's a very quick learner, but. No, I'm going to have to reject all those. But now, yeah, provided I can get these batteries churned up, eh, to be honest, you know, if I get everybody running long enough, yeah, getting there, Athletics 7, Athletics 3, 5, 5, so they are getting there, but they do seem to be taking a while to pump up even just the tiny little battery. Uh, I've only got, I was going to build another algae thingy over here. Let's see, because at the moment, while these are at temperature 18 to 22, and over here, tell me what the temperature is, doesn't. Temperature, 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 where are you? Okay, so their idea of temperature, we can't, yeah. So. Not 100% sure they're going 
going to work the way they should work, but there we go. Uh, what should we do next? I have a really... well... I mean, I've got one pretty much running full-time. Hang on, let me... Didn't wire him in. Uh, I've got one pretty much running full-time just to get a little bit of power. There's no power in this battery at all. Why is there no power? As soon as I stop, this ba battery is wired in. Battery's not wired in. So I'm wasting power. How did I miss that? That's why. Uh, right, let's choose the next. Uh, come on, research and scroll up. Right, we'll go for liquid pumping. Uh, that's the last first level, and then I'm going to need a supercomputer, which um, we're going to put down here, I think. So let's dig this out to be. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. We're slowly building this up. Yeah. How did I miss not plugging in that computer? I don't know. Uh, right, Bristle Blossom up here. Now these... To be honest, this Bristle Blossom here... It doesn't say here, but they like it a little bit chillier. It's 21 degrees up there. I'm surprised he's growing at all. I'll put him down here. I'm sure he'd be too stifled, but yeah, never mind. Right, if we're digging out that way, let's dig out this way as well. And full deep. We'll go out to about there. Have a quick look at the temperature. Yeah, it, if this is a bit chilly, I'm perhaps going to need to bring... Hmm, maybe I need to put a wall in there. But, uh, we'll see. Actually, if this is, what, 7 degrees, or minus degrees, this is where I want to be growing my bristle blossom, bristle, bloop, growing my bristle, bristle blossoms. Can't say the word, but uh, we haven't got any of that yet. We need to experiment with these new food tiles, farm tiles, and get them in there. Uh, to do that, I also need uh, to worry about pumps and things as well, so... We are going to run... How are we going to do this? Well, I think what I need to do is... Dig out that. And... I'm going to bring the ladder down one. Don't want to break through. And then... I want to dig through here. And then bring the ladder down. Oh, no, cancel. Yeah, dig this out of just a little. So bring the ladder down there. Dig that out. Dig that out. Dig that out. If I can. One, two, three, four. So we dig all that out, just make ourselves a slightly bigger reservoir down below. And I'm going to put a block in there, so any, any, any be, be six down, sick down this area, it shouldn't get into this water. I'm going to get into, I need a decontamination plant, but we're also going to need some sort of fertiliser, so I'm going to pump it straight back in. Food shortage. We've got four dupes that, to be honest, uh, we're all sitting at this 50% at the moment. Well, I say four, two of them are sitting at 50%. Max and Abe, surprisingly, doing well. And there we go, now we've got our battery sorted out. That'll help out a bit because once the batteries are full. Ooh. Some, something drains these batteries really quickly, and I suspect it's these massage tables that produce massage table. Yeah, 240 kilowatts. Sorry, 240 watts. So it's the same as the micro busher. Yep, we'll get there. 
I've got a favoured cookover. Well, I sort of have. But he's also good at everything else, so... Be alright once the batteries get built, but at the moment everyone's either researching, being massaged, or running. But there we go, we're getting there. Right, I shall bring you back in a bit. I'm going to let them... I don't want to get them too stressed out and build this slowly. It's going to take a little bit of time and obviously keep the food production up. Okay, and we're back. Uh, we've built a couple of the batteries here. That's enough for now. Uh, probably enough to actually deconstruct that one. And uh, we are just about to build the subcomputer so we can get on with the next layer of uh, thingying. And I'm going to... Actually, we're just going to build... I don't want to build that up there. Do I want to build that up there? I don't want to build... What's that there? That is ice, and that there is granite. So let's just put that in there. And put that up there. And cancel that dig. And we'll do is actually we'll cancel cancel that one as well. we'll get that out. Actually, I want to open this area, whole area here, so um, can act as a as a cooling jobby. As so you put a little put a little manual airlock in there as well. Put six bins, uh, six uh, tables in there, mess tables. I'll open up this little area here so they can get hold of this water because they need it for cooking food. You can see food's still short. But uh, hopefully they'll crack on with that. And I've started to sort of build this little lot out. Build that out through that. And then hopefully they'll be able to... Uh, uh, want to dig that one out as well. So, uh, yeah, come through here, dig this down, flush that down through there, and then think of some way of bringing that down. Probably a bit later in the game, because it's going to take me a little while to get through this water. He says the famous last words. Uh, there's my hatchling. This one here is still hopping up and down in this area. It doesn't want to go up. But there we go. Uh, right, I do want to sweep through here. What we'll do is we'll uh, build a storage compactor here, just purely for him. We'll fill that with sandstone so he's got something to eat. He'll produce coal, which then I can put somewhere else, but not 100% sure where. But uh, I'll tell you what, let's, let's just, no, 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 we'll just leave it collecting up. And what are the guys doing now? Uh, as you can see I've put some paintings around the place and the whole whole sort of sleeping relaxation area is looking a lot lot happier. These meal woods here they're as ugly as anything to be honest they could probably come up here. Might be a bit chilly up there mind you. Yeah minus I think they don't like being minus, do they? They want, yeah, 10 to 30. Uh, and where's the temperature? Where's the temperature? Going on in here somewhere. It doesn't tell me what the temperature is. There we go, 19. So they're a good temperature there, except I'm not sure I actually want them. Not until I can figure out. Well, that's the next bit I'm... Researching now. Did dump below one lot of dupes because they were absolute rubbish. Can't wait for some decent ones to uh, come along. Come on, guys. They, oh, they can't. Okay, let's dig that out. And they'll come down through here. Um, no research task collected. Really? Oh no, yeah, completely. 
Look at one of these down here, but perhaps it's under this icon. Okay, so I've done done those tiles. We can play around with that in a minute. Uh, let's go for water purification next, then filtration. And I want the uh, the the can't remember what I was going to do next. All right, well, there's something I can do. I'd love... Right, this one here is minus three. He's an archaleptic, he's naturally robust, he's good at construction, he's good at learning. Good, I could do with a new, another learner. So, select him. Let's have him. And we will to uh, deconstruct these. Put another cot in there, that brings us up to five for the minute. And I also want to... Lost my track of thought here. Just trying to... Yeah, once they've tidied all this lot up, chucked it in, there's loads of space down here, so that's fine. I want to hmm. find the compost fertilizer makers, yeah, fine. Right, ah oh yes, that's what I was gonna do. I'm gonna have a look at some of these. So if I put uh that's the aquatic farm tile, which must be submerged in liquid. This is the farm tile, which can be used up, can be rotated. Fertilization. This farm plot enables plant fertilization to improve. I wonder if they have to bring the fertilizer in manually. Uh, or I can go for the hydroponic farm, which requires a liquid intake pipe. And. Uh, da -da 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 yes, right, I'm going to uh, deconstruct these two here. Just for. Giggles. I'm going to put them into that, and once I've dug this out, which perhaps I want to prioritise a little bit more. And then going to build up some plumbing up through here as well. Oh, up the ladder, bring it through there, up there through there. And I suppose I can bring it down. Do it that way. Except they want... Hmm. Uh, let's cancel... Cancel those. Because they're going to need... I think it's polluted water. I think Click on that. So tell me no. I'm sure, they said they needed polluted water, but I can also bring. Let's put a couple over here. Let's put here. On again, we'll go for the hydroponic farm. We'll just plant two of them. Let's temperature over here. Minus two, one point two. Not much cop, is it? All right. I'm gonna stick them here because I think it's minus seven, minus nine. So yeah, let's put a couple of hydroponic tiles in there. Uh, and once we've planted them, we can actually figure out what we're going to do with them as well. I can perhaps put my bristle blossom in there, except have I got any... I haven't really sure got, I haven't found any blossom seeds yet, so... Um, let's uproot. Oh, oh what? Another tragedy, he's suffocated to death because no reason whatsoever. For some no reason he can't jump this gap here. That's ridiculous. Why? Is it because it's just too far up? How did you get trapped down there? I have no idea. Mm. 
Interesting. Uh, okay, so back down to four again. Did I lose who was, what was Max? Wasn't my artist, wasn't my researcher. Oh dear. Right, need to think about where to put some, well he's underwater at the moment anyway, but think about somewhere to put uh, gravestones in a bit. And we offer doing for raw metal. 27 raw metal at the moment, and I've got all this copper up here as well, so we're okay for metal. The food's looking a lot better. And we do need to oh, wait for somebody else to come. Well, I think I'm going to. Um, Call it a quit there for this episode. Thanks a lot for coming to join me. And uh, we will let these guys carry on a little bit more. Uh, I will see you all in the next one.